welcome to my home library. This is about 25 years in the making and it's actually my second home library that I've built that I'm absolutely delighted with. So these shelves over here are generally non-fiction mostly with a couple of like exclusive books, rare books and collectible books. And this is more the I guess kind of gaming, manga, graphic novel side over here where some of the statues that we've collected over the years we keep on these shelves as well. Like we've got Cyberpunk, Tomb Raider, Deus Ex and then we've got a few Witcher and Lord of the Rings type statues on the bottom there. There's a lot more statues upstairs in we have like a cinema room area as well so there's loads of gaming statues up there too. But these are all the graphic novels and all of the comics and things that I have to try and keep these as high as possible because the children seem to think that The Walking Dead is suitable for them. So this is the one room I do try and keep the children out of. <laughs> they have the run of the entire house, but not the library. <laughs> this is my favourite collection here. These are called Fables and these are really great stories based on obviously animal stories, fables, and it's all the legends and they're all in exile basically. There's also a lot of games and PC games, Xbox games, PlayStation type games as well. I've stolen all the art books for the children to use at the moment but this shelf is usually art history type books on there. I've got photos, memory boxes and things that you obviously want to keep from the children. A ton of DVDs, this whole thing is all DVDs. Uh, my husband used to work in a video store years ago, so <laughs> when we were at university together, I worked in the bookstore, he worked in the video store, so we have a lot of both. Lots of language books, cooking books. This is a really fun shelf. All of the things in here, like poisonous plants, um, bird books, things to help me grow and propagate my plants. Oh, I'll show you this as well. So I've been working on this for quite a few months now. So this is a mango mango seed so I sprouted this it took me about two months to sprout it in the cupboard and then I've since put it in this uh, glass I just took this glass out the recycling it's broken but I thought it'll do for this purposes of sprouting a mango but look at that <laughs> I've got some mango leaves so I'm kind of keeping it inside this glass container that I also just found in a random recycling bin but it makes like a perfect greenhouse so I'm keeping that on my windowsill in here to try and grow this into a mango tree. Uh, so these are all of my academic books that I've used for um, a variety of courses or I've got from studying or I've just bought out of interest. So I have tons of fantastic textbooks. Um, I'm always dipping in and out of them, especially on my immunology ones and epidemiology ones. But they are my favourite textbooks. And then we've got popular health, popular culture, um, just things that people have bought me over the years. Molecules of Murder from the Royal Society of Chemistry. That's a really fun one about criminal cases and how chemistry has helped solve those. I just read the one about the, the Russian spy who was killed on British soil and how they discovered where that had originated from. So that was really good. Countdown is an amazing book. This is an American epidemiologist and she's basically talking about things like microplastics and all the things in our environment that are basically killing us and making us infertile. I've got some books missing here at the moment because I'm reading these. These are over by my desk. And then we've got the folio collection. So I do collect folio society books and I love these books. They're so beautiful and they're so special and I do keep them forever. So a lot of these I got as a child for gifts. I got The Elegant Universe and I got um, Einstein's Theory of Relativity, things like that when I was quite young and I've just kept them forever because I love them. And now I buy them for my children. So <laughs> at the moment, I'm just buying them Spider-Man and Captain America. But I got Japanese Tales and Phantom of the Opera for Christmas. And this is my only selection of fairy books. So if you've ever seen any of my library tours before, you might know that I collect these, these fairy books. And they went out of print years ago. But they're amazing. And I love them. And... When you have the full collection, there's about 12 of them in the full collection. 
Um, you know, I've seen people selling them for like seven thousand pounds on the internet for the for the full set of twelve. But each one of these, you know, I think maybe the blue and red might be a bit more reasonable, but the others are well over a hundred pound, two hundred pound. I think this one, I think I got on eBay, and I thought it was a good deal because I think I paid ninety pound for that pink fairy one. But it is beautiful, and if you ever see one in a charity shop, make sure you buy them because somebody will buy that off you. Definitely, me. Send it to me. <laughs> And then underneath that um, section on popular culture, we've got a bit of spirituality. These are fiction. These are the fiction shelves. But this is my desk over here. <laughs> I should have tidied up for this video, really, shouldn't I? But this is where I like to spend the majority of my time. It is an amazing view. These are my current reads. And I'm kind of, you know, reading all of them. I've read them all before, but I'm just rereading them all. I love Dr. Perlmutter. He's one of my favourite authors to read. So I've got his books here. The children wanted a microscope because I had one. So this I found in the charity shop for £4. So I got them a microscope too. Speaking of microscopes, this is my biological compound microscope. It's an AMScope and you can connect it up to the PC. It comes with software so you can see all of the images on here that... Um, you can see under the lens so it's a stunning microscope and I'm obsessed with it but I definitely need to work on my laboratory area <laughs> um, because I have slides all over the place so yeah I really do need a better home for these because yeah, I guess it's not very hygienic to have um, you know I think there's a black fly under there there's some apple a few mushroom spores I also have my selection of mushrooms in here this is a bracket fungus and I think it's a tinder fungus because it is very squishy and spongy and if you can see closely it's a polypore so it just means it's got tons of pores if you can see those and um, Otzi the Iceman that was discovered he had some of this in his pocket and it was really interesting because they were saying that even um, then people were using mushrooms to benefit them in some way and he was using these to set fires so this polypore bracket fungus the tinder fungus was used to set fires or Otzi the Iceman used it to set fires and then I've got all of this gorgeous furniture that my cousin had imported from Egypt a few years ago and it's absolutely gorgeous it just went perfect in this room I think my husband confined it to this room as well though because he was like we're not having that all over the house <laughs> so it kind of gives it this, uh, I think, a nice, relaxing, elegant feel to the space. The sofas are obviously matching, but they're not that comfortable, which is why we have this one, which is basically about 20 years old, but it's just so delightfully comfy. And I just cover it with blankets and make it really soft. We've got this little book holder here. So I basically bought this from the charity shop for £2. It was just like a little brown book holder and I just painted it black and made it a little bit fun and keep this in the center here. I think it's quite pretty. I also seem to have these Legos in here because the children have got into Lego in recent years. So there's Zane's mech from Ninjago and a lot of little Lego people here. Koenigsegg model that my husband got sent and lots more Ninjago. Basically it's all Batman, Spider-Man and Ninjago Lego. And then down there, the children um, and their daddy are building the, what do they call it? And this one here, Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. I don't know, I think it's called the Sanatorium. So they're building this at the moment. So this one gets to stay in the library here as well. And on this wall here, we've got these two paintings. Both are by Sheena Choi, who has an art gallery in San Francisco. And I bought both of them over the years. But when we moved into here, I thought they both look great in here on this wall. So... Both of Sheena Choi's paintings grace this library now. So this is definitely my favourite room in the house. And it's predominantly me that's in here, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> Which is why it's a little bit floral, a little bit kind of, um, a bit like a winter house, you know? Victorian winter house, lots of plants, lots of flowers, birds, that kind of vibe. Um, and that lamp on the mantelpiece over there, I'm basically going to upcycle that and I'm going to use... Uh, like make a porcelain bird, paint it, put it in. So it's a bit like a bird cage. <laughs> so I'm working on that at the moment. And 
yeah, a little alcohol cabinet at my work desk. So thank you so much for joining me for this tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this first installment for this channel. Um, this channel is going to be all about optimal health, wellness, longevity, how to live for longer and healthier and a little bit of biohacking on the way. So I hope you enjoy this channel. Please do subscribe if you caught this video. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.